Hello everybody, this is uh, Matt Cat Spear, and uh, I I'm here with the video to talk about, uh, I'm right here in front of my laptop, and uh, right here there's this uh, website that I'm on, it's the Wikipedia one, and I've been doing my own research on uh, what causes, where the delta waves come from, if the brain causes delta waves, and so where does it come from, and I found out that uh, the delta waves come from two places that the scientists have found out, and that's the cortex, and that's the thalamus. And the main thing right here you're looking at is the reticular formation, and that is within the thalamus. And the reason why I'm showing this is because um, there's a it, it's connected to the brain stem, which is a big old huge thing that's involved with human life and human uh, humans being able to live. And uh, there's there's two things that got me involved in looking at this. The first thing I want to show you, the reason why I want to show you this, is because. It has. Uh, it says that it has maintain. It, it, main, it maintains behavioral arousal and consciousness, and so what that says is that um, arousal. You know, um, that's something that is very uh, that 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 I can relate to because um, whenever before and after I'm doing psychokinesis, I feel enthusiastic. I feel involved. I feel optimistic. Those are different types of arousal, being um, stimulated in a positive manner. To be able to do this, you know, that's a different form of arousal. But that's but but they're talking about arousal maybe like in sexual manner. But what I'm talking about is more of arousal in a much more um you know uh self development manner. And in consciousness, right here, um, what I think that they're talking about is uh, consciousness is the the scientific term of consciousness is uh being able to speak to people and being able to uh, to um to be awake and walk around. That's the scientific term of consciousness. For them but I think that uh, since this word consciousness is involved here and we're talking about psychokinesis and, we, and with psychokinesis there's consciousness involved with that you know then that 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 the reticular formation the thalamus specifically the reticular formation is deeply involved more so than the cortex and the cortex has a nuclei involved with that too and it's called the let me show right here um, the name is um, let me see if I can find it. It's the it's the sup it's the supra chi asthmatic nucleus. Supra chi asthmatic nucleus is right here. You can barely see it, but where my finger is, right there, where the red dot is, is right there. And that's a small, little, little, little part of where it is. Let me show you another picture right here. See that little green, that little green part right there? That's that's the supra. Uh, that's the chapa schismatic uh, 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 nucleus, and that's a small little thing. And, and um, this part is what also causes delta waves. The scientists found out they came from two places, and this is from the, the cortex and the brain. And but they found out that this little thing, the 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 chapa schismatic uh, nucleus, is where the delta brain uh, waves are coming from when you sleep. Sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. But it comes in that place, and the reason why I'm, um, I'm also looking at this is because it's above the the, the ocular um, functioning part, the, the nerves and all that, the ocular um, uh, um, um, aspect of how the brain sees with the eyeballs and everything like that. And and the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, it's it's it big that the ocular nerves and the ocular functioning um, organic part of the of the brain of how it sees is closely around this part right here and what do we do when we do psychokinesis we're looking observing you know calculating understanding by mostly visual context external visual context and that this and that this uh chopper uh nucleus nucleus is right there right where the eyes are is right around here it's real close and let me see if we can find the find something out see it's uh and I, and I could go over here to this one go to the Wikipedia and it's gonna and it's gonna show a little picture right let me show it to you right here right here man this is the eyeball the bulb of eye and this is like the nerve and all that and right here is where I, I, I this is like looking um this is a spinal this is from the bottom looking up looking from the bottom up this is where the, the picture is looking like if you're laying down under the person looking up at them this is the spinal thing and this is the thalamus and right here close to this where the nerves are of the eye of the eyes for the brain 
right there is the is the uh, suprachiasmatic um, nuclei nucleus right under all this area right here and it's closely connected and functioning i suspect with this the eye and everything so that is a closely connected psychosis because it's it's it, it's a functioning thing that surrounds itself around um understanding your your understanding the objects around you you know you look at it you think to yourself okay i have to relax i have to have to uh, uh create um uh, um kind of like a, a relaxed gaze that's another chi energy type of exercise relaxed gaze and how do you do that that's another form of um i, I would think is another form of uh, of of uh manifesting within yourself while you're awake a delta brainwave uh action by having a relaxed gaze, like if you're falling asleep, almost closing your eyes, going to sleep, a relaxed gaze. And so this is all related to that. So both the cortex and the suprachiasmatic nucle uh, nucleus is involved with that. And the thalamus and the reticular formation is all is all involved. And, and, and the thing is, those that look at this right here, this is the, the whole damn um, reticular formation. This is basically within, or it is the the, the the thalamus itself, I suspect. And this is a big old damn thing. This thing is like a big old damn chunk of the brain, you know, like it, it, it's it's not as big as a whole brain, but it's a big old damn functioning part of the brain that, 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 that allows us to live. And, and it has a spinal column there, which is very important. And this whole damn intersecting working thing is what's allowing you to create a sleep, the delta wave sleep, both of them create delta waves and what it is what i think the delta wave is is like another way to interact with the environment and what i said is like it's a dream state fusing with the waking reality that's that's what you're doing when you're um when you're stimulating when you're doing psychokinesis you're you're interacting with the physical reality and uh but you're uh, internally trying to provoke a state of sleep while you're still awake and that, and the only way to do psychokinesis and to interact with your reality, without touching your reality, is by stimulating and by provoking these things. Now, I, I don't know exactly, you know, because it's made up of, of three parts. You know, the the uh, the reticular formation we have a three big old damn parts. You know, but I think they're both. It kind of fluctuates back and forth. I think I, I suspect that the that when you're awake doing psychokinesis, the delta waves fluctuate or maybe um you know kind of bounce back and forth from the thalamus reticular formation to the cortex the suprachasm uh schismatic uh, uh nucleus it bounces back and forth due to this your internal psychological uh um you know how you're feeling what you're thinking the brain is always fluctuating and bending and changing you know so it, it's like when you when you're awake you might be using the reticular formation for one second and then another second you're using the the um um the 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 suprachiasmatic uh nucleus bouncing back and forth and so the, the thing is also what i wanted to end with this is that um i, I don't know how you could because what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to figure out how to provoke this more easier more faster and the only thing i can say is that when you're asleep everything is shut down your 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 auditory hearing is shut down you know um you, you're not speaking you're not thinking and you're not feeling anything from outside anything from you're not touching nothing so basically uh, the only way to for this to happen while you're awake is to basically to be in a meditative state in an observant and uh, with you with the by having a by relaxing yourself by doing by by just trying to just be locked in within yourself to provoke this sleep state while being awake and i think it's very easy but it, we just have to just kind of work at it and that being in a, in, in a delta wave, once you're in that delta wave, once you provoke that sleep state, uh, basically while you're sitting and your eyes are open and you're trying to uh, reenact, uh, reenact sleeping by not hearing and not thinking, not feeling, by just being in, enclosed within yourself, once you have that delta uh, wave function going on, um, it's going to be, it's a very easy, simple thing. And that uh, it, it'll be easy to to grasp and not easy to uh, to let go so easy. And um, once you have that delta wave going on, um, once you have it on um, more often, you'll be able to connect with objects more easier, even involuntarily moving things around you without even knowing it. And so that's what everybody wants is for people to just do things without having to sit there for an hour trying to move a damn cup. 
you know, and uh, and, and I think they have to practice on trying to reenact sleeping while sitting in an Indian style position or, or laying down or something while you're, while your intention is to move an object. But you have to reenact as though you're kind of like um, like you're falling asleep with your eyes open, basically. Like everything becomes numb and dull and quiet. And you have to reenact that. And I think that that's one technique that we can do immediately without having to take herbal supplements or having to meditate. You know, th those kind of hassling things. And I think that this will be easy. As Richard says, this Matt Cat's fit. That's my, that's my uh, little thing I want to share with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is the delta wave functions. And my theory has been pre-correct. And I'm very happy about it. I'm still doing studies. Thank you, guys.